Alright, so I've done a video for TJ Combo. Next stop is going to be Jago. And just like TJ Combo, you can't pick Jago's stage. So normally you can pick stages by pressing either up or down in any of the buttons. Uh, you've even got stages that aren't anybody's stage, like uh, the cave, which is up in medium punch, or the sky stage where you both press down to medium kick. Anyway, you can't go to his stage, so the best we can do is pick his music which is up in Fierce Punch. So I'm picking a bridge stage because I want to show some stuff and I need some distance. And up in Fierce Punch goes to an ice stage that's not Glacius' stage, but it has uh, Jago's music in it. Okay, so Jago is essentially Ryu from Street Fighter. He's got real similar moves. You got, you know, Fireball, you've got a Dragon Punch. Not a Hurricane Kick, but it's still a kick in the air, so we'll just go with it. He also has a laser sword, so I'll cover all these moves in some more detail. So first up is his fireball. Now his fireball, he's got several different versions of it. First up, just normal stuff. Quarter circle forward, quick punch. Quarter circle forward, medium punch. And quarter circle forward, fierce punch. And each of these is a different speed, and that's part of why I want to be on this stage. So the quick medium and fierce and you'll see how they're closing in on each other all right so those are the normal fireballs so he actually has four different ones he's got a green one he's got a yellow one and he's got two different reds so those are the green ones now in ki you can do moves by either pressing a button or you can hold a button rotate and release now once you have a combo breaker holding fierce punch and rotating and letting go, that does a special fireball. But even if you don't have a, a combo breaker, it is slightly different. It's hard to notice, but on a stage like this, I can show you. So what it does is it reduces the startup frames just a little bit. So watch him like prepping the fireball. Okay, I'm gonna do that over and over again. Okay. I'm gonna throw it a, a, I'm gonna throw three more, and then I'm gonna start where I'm holding it and releasing. And you'll see the fireballs will actually be closer because I'm actually able to uh, throw them faster. So normal, 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 fast, fast, fast. You see that? So you can also do the same with medium punch. So there's a normal one, a little slow and then fast, fast. You can also do this with quick punch, but quick punch gives you a different fireball. It's a yellow one. And what the yellow one does <laughs> prevents you from throwing other fireballs, that's for one. But, so a normal fireball, you can win kick through. So characters usually have a move that evades fireballs, goes right through it. So the yellow one though prevents that that's what that is and yeah just like i mentioned if you ever throw a yellow one you can't throw any more fireballs that's it so all right so that's two that's two of the fireballs next up once you have a combo breaker you can throw a really fast red fireball by holding fierce punch rotate and let go so I'll just show you the speed difference on a normal fast one and the red fast one. So pretty significant. And as I mentioned in the Killer Instinct basic tutorial, right? Once you've done a combo breaker, you see on player one side, it's flashing white. There's a white line there. That's your enhancement. And one of the enhancements you get with Jago is that red fireball. So I can throw up to three. And then once I've thrown three, you see it goes away. So, one of the other things you get with Jago is kind of an enhancement, but not really, and I'll explain. So, what he gets is, well, let me show these other moves and then I'll get to that. Okay, so you got those fireballs. What's the, what's the other fireball? I said there was four, yellow, green, and two reds. The other red one is once you've launched somebody and you're holding medium punch, 
rotate forward and let go. So you saw he threw red ones. Th that's how you juggle with Jago. Now he was throwing three instead of one because I have a combo breaker. So normally that would just be, um, it would just be, I'll show you. Right, that's what it would normally look like right there. But since I have a combo breaker, there you go, you get three. So those are his four different fireballs. Next up you've got Dragon Punch. It's done just like Street Fighter. So forward, down, down forward. And just like Street Fighter, the quick punch version is kind of shallow. Medium goes higher and fierce goes even higher. Jago also has another Dragon Punch where if you hold forward for a minute, then he covers a lot more horizontal space. I've also noticed the sound effects different. I don't think damage is different, but you'll hear the normal ones like a really hard thud. And then when you do the other one, it's kind of a smack. So, yeah, just interesting. So he's got that. Next up, you've got wind kick, which is a quarter circle to down back. So it's down forward, down, down back. This works with all different kicks. So there's quick kick. It's hardly any range. It's not an opener. It's literally just that move. Uh, this one's weird, though, because you can actually go the other direction. So you can rotate the down forward. So you can just kind of back and forth. <laughs> Medium kick is, uh, you know, better range this is an opener as well then you've got the fierce kick version which will actually cover the entire screen so even if he was all the way all the way at the end that would work now when you're doing the fierce wing kick keep holding back like you rotate the down back but keep holding either there or back and then you can press fierce kick at any point to cancel the wind kick and you can also use it as a second hit. So you can kind of, I messed it up there, but you can kind of, um, right? You're canceling it, but really it's just a second hit. So that that's one way to add one extra hit to your, your combos right there. All right, so next up is if you hold Fierce Kick, rotate and release, you see you get this uh, shadow version, okay? Now, Shadow moves a lot of times are a result of having a combo breaker and they consume, right? When you do that combo breaker, you get three three uses of it. It enhances your juggle and it uh, usually enhances a special move. Well, with Jago, it enhances his juggle and his enhanced special move is the fireball that I showed you. This move here, while it looks like an enhancement, it's actually not, but I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something. It's gonna look like it. Okay, you've seen the regular, right? You've seen the regular wind kick. This is it. Pretty fast. Now watch when I hold fierce kick, rotate and release. You're gonna see how insanely fast this is. Alright? That's crazy. Right? But so it seems like wow, you can just use this super fast wind kick anytime you want. Isn't it crazy? But it's really just a visual thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and burn these other enhancements. So now the line's not flashing anymore. And I'll show you again, like here's the, it doesn't, you don't really notice it at this range. Here's the normal one. And here's when you let go of the button. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go all the way back again, rotate and release and you'll see it's just as fast as it was a minute ago. So the shadow wind kick is mechanically identical to the other one. So that's why it doesn't consume that little flashing bar. It's just a visual thing. Sort of like the enders. When you have a combo breaker, you can hold a button, release, and it's in shadow form. But it doesn't it doesn't take away from that. Alright, next up is his laser sword. So just like the wind kick motion, but with fierce punch. And you can use this as an opener as well. So I guess let me go ahead and get into um, openers. And I gotta stay away from the corner. In the emulation of this game, if you jump in the corner, yeah, you get stuck inside each other, which is not the case in the actual arcade. I think the arcade one-up version, I think I heard they fixed that glitch, but I pointed it out to them in this version. This is on Xbox One. I remember jumping on the forums for Code Mystics and being like, hey, this is happening. It's not supposed to happen. They're like, ah, it's arcade perfect. I was like, okay. <laughs> All right, let's get into the openers. So Jago's openers are the laser sword that I just showed you. Um, 
and off of the laser sword what you can do is quick punch and this is really weird right every opener typically has two different autos and uh, for whatever reason Jago's auto requires you to press a direction it's the only character so when you do a laser sword you can press down fierce punch that's an auto but just regular fierce punch doesn't do anything and I actually found this uh, yeah, back back in the arcades because I used to do this little combo here. I thought it was cool. So that was uh, rotate the down back, press fierce punch, and then rotate the down back again and press fierce punch. And that's not an actual ender; it just uppercuts him. But so that's where I kind of found that down fierce punch was an auto. So it's very weird. But every every use of the fierce punch auto requires you to press down. So even when you jump in. Again, this, this stuff right here, like jump in autos, go check out that Killer Instinct 1 basic tutorial. I cover all that stuff in there. All right, so that's that's his opener. Uh, that same move is his linker as well. So if a combo is already going and you do it again, he does a two hit version of it. Now, once you when you use it as a linker, uh, the autos are different, right? So as an opener, it's quick punch down a fierce punch well as a linker it's quick kick. it's any of the kicks so it's quick kick I'm gonna do the same start every time linker that was medium kick linker fierce kick all right so it's pretty cool because you get three options and each one's a different strength which means that uh, the, the combo breaker potential is still one in three so you got that uh, next up, you've got the medium wind kick. So off the medium wind kick, you got quick kick auto, and I think down fierce punch. Yeah, all right, down fierce punch. So those are his two uh, autos off of the medium. Then off of fierce, you've got, I think the other two kicks. So yeah, quick kick and medium kick. Now, this is kind of interesting. If I try medium punch afterwards, he won't it won't be an auto right I can get like a single hit but if I do this by releasing now medium punch is an auto and so are the other two buttons right so just pressing fierce kick I get quick kick and medium kick as autos if I release it I get quick kick medium kick and medium punch so that's kind of interesting and also the the version where you let go is also another linker. So if I'm holding Fierce Kick, I start a combo. A little late, you gotta be quick on it. There you go, you see how it linked together? So that's another linker. I didn't know that for the longest time. I used to play this a lot and I didn't know that that was even a thing. So I uh, figured that out at some point. But So that's your other linker. Uh, let me talk about, I guess, combo breaker. So his combo breaker is his dragon punch. So it's always going to be on punch. Combo breakers are a one in three chance. So if somebody's using fierce in their combo, you need to use medium. If they're using medium, use quick. If they're using quick, use fierce. Um, also, you've got the air double, which if somebody's in the air, you 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 kick them with you hit them with any strength you want. And then you do a wind kick that's to the left. So if I hit him with fierce, I want to do a medium wind kick. If you do medium, quick, quick, fierce. Um, and as long as you've done those two hits, I'm going to try to deal with all these buttons in my way. You can do that. Catch him with the juggle afterwards. Uh, another thing you can do that I, I figured out at some point, uh, because I had a, with Jago, like honestly, like I love every character in this game, but Jago was kind of like, my least favorite of my favorites, right? So, and part of that was because I had a hard time getting combos started, right? You throw a wind kick out, they'd block it, you'd be left open. And the laser sword was kind of, I felt like it was kind of stubby. Like you can hit somebody with it, but you can't, right? You can't really get much going from that distance. So, uh, but at some point I figured out that two medium punches actually chained together and so since, as long as you do at least two hits you can go into your ender which i only did one hit because why not 
There we go. So you can do two hits straight into an ender, just like that. And then once I figured that out, I was like, oh, this is really cool. Gotta get away from the corner again. So you've got that as an option, and you could also, uh, you know, start with a low hit and go into your combo, which that was a little late. That's why I said triple, not super. All right, that was it. Uh, so you, you definitely have some options. You can throw in some low attacks or whatever. Uh, what else do I want to talk about? I guess it's wake up. So if you get knocked down, your wake up is going to be your dragon punch, which I don't know why it didn't work. Hold on a second. There you go. So if they're trying to jump at you right then, that'll hit them. I guess let's talk about the enders. So as I always mentioned, everybody has four. And for whatever reason, TJ Combo and Jago have five. But Jago's fifth ender is really weird because it's only two hits. It's the only one that's like that. All other enders are three or four. So um, you've got his medium wind kick, which I think is probably my favorite, to be honest. Then you've got a uh, quick punch fireball. And then you have dragon punch with every strength. So you've got fierce punch. Which the first parts one is weird because it sometimes can be three hits if you have a really short combo. Right? I did one, two, one, two, three. But then if the combo's longer, now it's four hits. Uh, it's a little weird. So you've got that one. You've got the Dragon Punch with Medium Punch. That's his launcher. So that's fun. And then Dragon Punch with Quick Punch, which is just a two hit. And then I just did, did a, a juggle afterwards. So those are his. All right, so my memory card uh, filled up apparently. It's a memory card full. I wasn't paying attention to how much data was left. Fortunately, the game was still recording. So I, I was just talking about his fifth ender, which was the quick punch, dragon punch. And I think that was pretty much it. I was gonna move on to uh, finish moves. So kind of good timing, I guess. Let's. Um, Go ahead and show a few finish moves. All right, so first up is the humiliation, which you have to be on your first health bar. You just rotate back and press medium kick. You can pretty much be wherever on the stage. Next up, when, you, when you're close, you back full forward quick punch. And most of your finish moves, like in KI, they're gonna be a rotation or they're gonna be three directions, right? And with with the exception of Orchid, like all of them are gonna be like back, full, forward, forward, back, back, full, forward, back, right? Something like that. Jago's second one is the only exception. It's four inputs, back, back, full, forward, forward, medium punch. Now there's something really interesting about this. So this, this led me to learn something else about this move. So a friend of mine was telling me, hey, I think it's actually just back, forward, forward. Right, because some of these moves, like the, the sword stab, people would say it's back, back, forward, forward. It's not, it's just back, forward, forward. So he told me, I think it's just back, forward, forward. Watch, back, forward, forward. You see how it worked? I was like, oh, wow. Man, I always thought, right? I always thought it was back, back, forward, forward. So, I tried it myself, just like you saw. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Let me let me get in position, back, full, forward. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. And I believed that, right? I thought that was the case. And then I remember trying it when I was already like in position, like right here, back, full, forward. Back, full, forward. You see this? Watch, hold on. Back, full, forward, back, full, forward. So this is where it dawned on me that Killer Instinct finish moves incorporate the very like whatever direction you're doing so me holding back to get into position counts as the first back in that uh finish move so this is technically back back full forward medium punch and this is the case with uh with all your finish moves so if i could stand close enough it's back full forward to do his sword i'm gonna go ahead and hold back well try to get it right there we go. It's a little hard to demo on that. It's easier to demo if, if the first input's forward because I can walk into the character, but trust me, uh, this is the case. So uh, next up, let's, uh, I'll, 
I gotta beat up player two to get him down to where I can do the ultimate and we'll pick up from there. All right, so once your opponent is in the flashing red, and they don't actually have to be flashing red at this point because ultimates and ultras are done in a combo. So you could you could start early, the combo does damage. So as long as it's flashing red when you're actually ready for the ultimate, um, that's all you need. So with Jago, uh, just rotate forward and fierce punch when you're in a combo and you'll go into the ultimate. Which ultimates are just combo variations of one of their finish moves that's what they are so next up will be the ultra all right so for jago's ultra as long as it's flashing red um it's just a quick wing kick that's it rotate the down back quick kick so i'm just gonna start a combo that's it that's his ultra now the thing about jago's ultra and spinals is that they don't launch at the end which kind of sucks because it takes away some of the uh combo potential that you get right most of most of the stuff you can do after the combo is is the fun part after the juggle um let me show a few other things and then we can kind of uh be done i guess so um one thing i wanted to mention is that you can cancel your fireball recovery with a wind kick and you can kind of implement as you can see some more uh <laughs> some more some extra hits you can throw that fireball the, the fireball doesn't really count against you on your combo count and then what i was just doing there was kind of like you drag the combo on a little too long and uh the opponent he's gonna fall down that that's that's basically what's happening so you'll see here see how he falls down but you can go ahead and like do your ender before that's that's done and uh you can also do that with your ultimate as well which i'll show you so um basically you'll you'll, you'll want to hold fierce fierce punch when you do this so hold on do this release fierce hold rotate forward so what that was it was a fierce wing kick medium kick auto and i was still holding fierce rotate let go medium kick because that was a linker do his sword linker Keep holding fierce, press medium kick, rotate forward, let go of fierce. That's what that was. Um, next up is that you can do you can do some dumb stuff. Like th this is really fun for me anyway. Like just finding cool dumb stuff in KI. But you could you could do all kind of stuff like throw this stuff, get ahead of it, put another one in here. You could stack the fireballs on top of each other. All kinds of weird dumb stuff, but um, now, when KA was new, I think the highest amount of hits people knew how to do before an ultra was this. That was pretty much it. So it's 10 hits. The ultra is 18. So 28 was typically what you saw on scoreboards. And I figured out that you could get a little quick punch in, right? You see that? So I've. That, that was how I got my highest ultra and then like right after that quick punch get the uh, get the ultra in there so that was kind of uh, that was my thing that I, I figured out I mean you can get more than this now but that was <laughs> that's the way I set my my Jago scores at the arcade back then so um yeah, there's, there's going to be more stuff. There's always more stuff about KI. I probably forgot some things. Now, we'll tell you one thing. Now, one of the guys I used to play with online, he's got a video for Jago. I'll link to it in the description. Because uh, Jago was his main in this game, and he, he took a lot of time to like dig deeper into it. And he covers some, some stuff that I don't talk about here. Uh, a few things that he's got in that video, I was like, oh, I didn't even know that. So I didn't cover any of that stuff here. This is all stuff I already knew. Uh, he's got some good info there, like certain ranges on moves and some other glitchy stuff you can do. It, uh, it's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, feel free to check that out. Check out the other KI1 tutorials that I'm hopefully going to have done <laughs> pretty soon. But, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully this was helpful and we'll see you on the next one.